Usually what you see with the major graphic intensive Nintendo Switch ports is all sorts of downgrades across the board. There are issues, usually see them review a lot less than the original games that came out on the PlayStation 4 or the Xbox One, or even sometimes the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. But that is all changed as Nier Automata, the end of Yora edition on the Nintendo Switch has pretty much made history when it comes to big Nintendo Switch ports, because this game not only is it a great conversion of the PlayStation 4 slash Xbox version of the game, but it's also reviewed just as highly as the original version of the game. Now, there's only nine reviews so far, but everyone who's played the game, including myself, who I've played the original game on the PlayStation 4, and now the Nintendo Switch version says that this is one of, if not the best, major conversion from the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One over to the Nintendo Switch. And we're gonna go ahead and get into that and so much more. Before we do, please make sure you hit that like button, subscribe if you are someone new, and click that notification bell to get my videos first. Now, going over on the Metacritic website right now, Near Automata, the end of your edition is officially up on the Nintendo Switch. And I did say nine reviews, I meant to say eight reviews and it has an 88 average now based off of my own gameplay which you guys are seeing right here and i was still kind of getting used to the switch version of the game when it comes to the controls and everything but so far i've pretty much been able to kind of nail down what i like to do in the game at least in the early going and i'll have to say here based on these reviews and what some of these critics are saying it's pretty much what i've been seeing in my own gameplay time and with this 88 average so far that is right where the playstation 4 version reviewed all those number of years ago back in 2017 or so i know the xbox version came out a little bit later but this is definitely impressive and it shows that i think virtuos is probably not at this point the best nintendo switch port developer there is people talked about panic button for a very long time iron galaxy they were up there with the skyrim port but i think that now with near automata the end of your edition this is by far the most impressive Nintendo Switch port that I have played, and I've pretty much played all of them out there. Now, let's go and get into some of these reviews in terms of what the critics had to say. Now, over at GameSpot, they gave it a 9 out of 10 positive review and said combat still feels smooth, loading times are reasonable, and in the several hours we tested, it was easy to forget it wasn't running on a PlayStation or Xbox. Now, I wouldn't go as far far as to say that there are some things here and there but i'll say this if you're playing it in portable mode absolutely 100 percent true like it looks incredible on the nintendo switch oled now i'm not so sure about the base nintendo switch because that screen does make a big difference an oled screen makes a big difference and it looks just so sharp on there with the nintendo switch oled screen but if you're playing it on a 4k tv you'll notice some textures here and there in my play testing compared to the playstation 4 and xbox one however i think that what they meant by this is by saying once you start playing and really start getting into it you don't really notice because it's still the same incredible game that you played on the PlayStation 4 or Xbox One. Now, God is a Geek had this to say, Near Automata, the end of your edition is brilliant. It's still essential, still bonkers, play this game. Also, Pocket Tactics had this to say, Near Automata is one of the best games from the previous generations of consoles and has made the jump to the Nintendo Switch in a mind-bogglingly impressive fashion. Little to no noticeable compromises have been made to get it onto a handheld system and the magical, inventive nature of the thing sings just as loud as ever. Hobby console us with the 87 or 8.7 and had this to say, a noteworthy port of an outstanding game all the main ingredients remain intact, but we have made some graphical compromises on the way. So they kind of agree with what I said that, yes, if you're playing it, you know, when it comes to looking really closely, you can kind of see that there are some downgrades here and there. But at the same time, it's still intact. It's still a great game. And there's some 
little exclusive content here and there with those outfits as well. Now, Gamers RD had this to say, they gave it an 85, saying, Near Automata, the end of your edition is a good choice for Nintendo Switch owners. It has everything great that the game was acclaimed for upon its release in 2017 and adds never before seen content. It is admirable how they condensed a game of these dimensions on this platform. And also, I want to add in there, guys, that this game is only 10.7 or 6 gigabytes on the Nintendo Switch. It is under 11 gigabytes. So it doesn't even fill out a full Nintendo Switch cartridge, which just shows mastery of the Nintendo Switch system from a port studio. I haven't seen a game this size from the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, a game this size get ported over and to be in those dimensions when it comes to the file size, I mean, that is incredible that they were able to get that done. Now, Hardcore Gamer gave it an 8 out of 10 and had this to say. Near Automata, the end of your edition, combines top-notch gameplay with an incredible story to create one of the most memorable and unique experiences in gaming. Certain concessions had to be made to accommodate the limitations of the Nintendo Switch hardware, the graphics had to take a minor downgrade, and there was animation stuttering in combat, but overall, this is an impressive port. Being able to play Nier Automata on a handheld system is the biggest selling point with this edition, and the aforementioned concessions are a small price to pay for this ability. The gameplay and story are just as enjoyable and impactful as ever. Nier Automata is one of the best games of the past decade, and playing it on the Nintendo Switch is a great way to experience it. So, one of the things that I see with Nintendo Switch ports all the time is that you will see the review say, okay, it works as a handheld, but post Steam Deck, things have kind of changed up a little bit, right? Now that you can play a lot of these games on Steam Deck in much better quality, people aren't as willing to go with higher scores because it's portable, because there is Steam Deck around and also other portable PCs. But what I've seen with this version of the game, because of how great the conversion is, it uses HD Rumble, it has motion controls when you need to use them or if you want to use them. It has all the things that you would expect in a normal first party Nintendo Switch release in terms of them using Using it and the conversion of effort actually showing some effort in making sure that the graphics stand up as much as possible that they optimize everything you're seeing all of that so the whole okay well look this is a great way to play portable or this is a great way to play it still stands up even post steam deck so that's what i love to see with these reviews and usually if you go back to other games right like look at the outer worlds on the nintendo switch you know it reviewed way lower on the switch than it did the xbox and PlayStation. Nier was primed for it to be like an 81 or 82 type of release, right? That's what I think people were expecting, but no, it's right up there because of the strength of the port from Virtua, so we have to give them some props. And let's go ahead and move into my own impressions of the game. Now, I played through the first sequence, and I'm in the open world area-ish section now, and I think that everything holds up very well. I was a little bit worried about the draw distances and some things that were happening, you know, or what could happen in the game, but no, it actually holds up fairly well. Now, through the first part of the game, it's kind of like a mismatch of different genres and different gameplay styles and everything, and I really dig it. I really like that they kind of harken back to the old school roots of like a twin stick shooter and a side scrolling shooter and an over the top shooter and an action game. It gives you so many different flavors on top of just an excellent RPG or action RPG, I should say, an excellent action RPG with different weapon sets and different styles of combat and dodging and all sorts of cool stuff. You have a awesome opening action sequence. You have a big entrance into the combat sections. You've got huge multiple boss battles even in that first part between a sub boss then a main boss you have some emotion you see the quality of the game from the very beginning and i think that's what sets the tone for how good near automata is now remember guys i've already played this through on the playstation 4 and i think that it's a phenomenal game but as i'm playing it on the nintendo switch especially portable mode and having that option to be able to kind of grind out and do side quests on the go with a physical edition of the game because many of you guys if you don't know well now you're going to know that there is a $39.99 
physical version of the game to have that option in addition to the digital and the little extras that you get at stunning quality when it comes to the conversion of the port considering the nintendo switch hardware is nothing short of a miracle and impossible port to the highest degree of what we usually see with nintendo switch games i mean it's been a while to where we can really sit down and we look at a port that comes over from a big graphic intensive playstation 4 xbox one game and say man that was incredible i mean it's been a while i haven't done it in quite some time any game that's usually came out recently or within the past year or so have been games that you know it's cool that they're porting over and everything and it's a nice conversion but it really hasn't been up to this level of quality or it's a first party release so we know the quality is going to be there but this is the first time in a while that i've played a major port from playstation and xbox and i've just been kind of blown away with the job that they've done here so in my gameplay, I've been having an absolute blast, and I'd have to say that this is a 100% recommendation. Now, I will have more of my impressions and my review maybe later down the line. Make sure you guys check out my live streams as well, but I want to let you guys know that Nier Automata is definitely the real deal on the Nintendo Switch based off of these reviews here and also with my hands on time within the first hour or so of the game playing through. And once again, I will have more more on that but I also wanted to kind of note with this with Nier Automata on the Nintendo Switch and what Virtuos has done I think that when you're able to kind of play it in this type of fashion right where you can play it on the TV you can play it on the go with the Nintendo Switch and it's seamless in this type of nature I think that it's really going to draw a lot more people to the Nier franchise and one of the things that I've talked about before in previous videos is that they have the anime that's coming out in January and this game right now is coming out October 6th so I think that it's a perfect time to jump into the Nier franchise if you haven't really played it or if you don't know what it's about Nier has been around for a while and this game is a stand alone you don't have to play the previous games or know any knowledge about the franchise beforehand in order to jump into it it's a perfect time to kind of get into the game and kind of see what the world is about because these characters are going to be in the near anime now near has sold over 6.5 million units worldwide on all the other systems combined and i think that this is really a good opportunity with the price of the game and the quality of the nintendo switch port for it to jump up to 7 million units plus if not more more. I mean, this, in my opinion, I know it's an old port, but this should be a million selling Nintendo Switch game. I think that there's enough Nintendo Switch players out there. And if you look at it, there's enough gamers out there that haven't picked up this game to say, hey, this is worth a million units or so on there. And I think if that happens, this could be really big for Nintendo Switch going forward, the Nier franchise. We can see stuff like Nier Replicant on the Nintendo Switch as well. So there is a lot of opportunity for growth when it comes to the franchise and Nintendo players. There's growth for Square Enix when it comes to the anime that's coming out next year. And there's just opportunity just in general to show that yes, yeah, Switch players will even pick up something if you do a supreme quality port of the game. It's worth it not only to get it out day and day or near day and day but get it out whenever you can but make sure that you do the best job that you can if you're going to bring it a lot of times we see a lot of ports not necessarily the best conversions on the nintendo switch so this is a prime opportunity especially in this month of october where you have big ports coming out for the nintendo switch like persona 5 royal near automata as well i mean this is a great opportunity once again for everyone when it comes to the gamers and of course square enix on their side and as a content creator myself who loves rpgs i love these type of games i'm incredibly happy and it's satisfying to see a game like this come out on the system and it not be a crusty version of the game which we've gotten before with previous titles you know or just games that are like okay it's great but you know this one it's not really but but it's more like whoa wait a minute this is a great way to play at a good price 40 bucks in addition to it having some nice features with hd rumble motion controls and of course that portable play looking sweet on the nintendo switch oled so great opportunity all around for everyone but what do you guys think when it comes to near automata the end of your edition on the nintendo switch do you plan on picking this one up or what do you think about the nintendo switch footage and the port of the game let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. All right, guys, that wraps it up for this video here. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Please make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe if you're someone new. Click that notification bell. We will see you for the next video. Peace.